in this video i'll show you how to uh, compute poly serial and uh, polyperic correlation so what is a poly serial correlation when you have uh, a continuous variable and a, a, a categorical variable you cannot compute pearson correlation between them so pearson correlation of course sas will give it to you but then its its interpretation will be very wrong because pearson correlation assumes that uh, two variables both the variables are continuous in nature so uh, in such a scenario uh, we compute uh, poly serial correlation uh, the syntax that you are seeing on the screen will run only on sas 9.3 unfortunately my sas is 9.2 so um, you can just note it down and you can run uh, in the system if you have uh, sas 9.3 this syntax will work uh, so this syntax is pretty much similar to what we have used in the uh, last video proc or data and then you use the option poly serial here then with which uh, categorical variable you want to uh, you know compute the uh, poly serial correlation so first in the width option or the width statement put your uh, categorical variable name so my categorical variable is length indicator which has only two values 1 and 0 and then my continuous variables are weight and horsepower so that I put in the var statement and then when I run it uh, my poly, poly uh, serial correlation will be given with respect to length and weight so one of the correlation I will get uh, from length and weight sorry length indicator and weight and the other one will be length indicator and horsepower So that's how we compute the poly serial correlation. So what if uh, the variables are both categorical, uh, ordinal, dummy variable type or indicator variable. So variable which are not continuous. Both the variables are uh, you know, uh, not, not continuous. Um, in that case, we compute what we call it uh, poly -core correlation. Okay. So the spelling is like this. Poly -core correlation. We compute poly -core correlation using proc frequency in SAS. In the table statement, give your uh, indicator variables. I have got two indicator variables length indicator and then uh, weight indicator. So both these variables have got uh, 1 and 0. So it need not be 1 and 0. It can be anything else. It can be ordinal like 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, or you know a categorical uh, nominal type. So and then you give an option PLCOR. PLCO double R. Uh, run and let's run this so uh, you will have the output of uh, of pro frequency uh, and down below you can see one statistics here Pierce, sorry, this is Pearson correlation. I'm sorry. So, where is my polyphoric correlation? Okay, it should come here. Okay, so something is wrong in my data. That's why it is coming blank. Let me go back and see whether my data is okay or not.
okay uh, so in the log it says that the uh, tetrachloric correlation so polychloric correlation when you extend it to multiple variables it, it is known as tetrachloric so that is very same you know you can take either of them polychloric or tetrachloric doesn't matter uh, it says that it did not converge uh, well it, it's the algorithm did not converge you know there is some issue with the data uh, well I'll change the data a little bit and let's see if it works. Yes, so this time it converts. So let's check out the result. Go down and you can see uh, this time it converges. So what I did is that I changed the indicator value. Sometimes you know if, if your distribution is a bit skewed or something, uh, I guess there were too many ones in the weight indicator. That's why it didn't uh, run properly. So I changed the criteria value. So I created this weight indicator from this weight value. So I changed the criteria and now it, it, it has a different type of distribution between 1 and 0. So it converts finally and uh, you can see tetracolic correlation is 0.76. So that's how uh, we uh, we compute uh, you know polychloric correlation. Uh, the code that I have given you uh, for polyserial correlation, you can uh, use it only in SAS 9.3. But uh, the polychloric correlation you can compute in SAS 9.9.0 onwards.